Ooh, that's a beautiful shade. I am feeling like an abstract painting right now. Yes, oh, I love that. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. I don't really have an eye look to zoom in on yet today because we're gonna be doing eyes together. I am loving the way my base is looking though. I'm not wearing anything new. I'm just wearing my Oric Glow Lust and my Rare Beauty Foundation, but as always, feeling very glowy and glamorous. I got my cute little Shop Cloche earrings on today. Unfortunately, Shop Cloche's Etsy shop is temporarily closed because Miss Chloe is a very busy lady and she's got a lot going on, but if she ever reopens, I highly recommend you check out her shop because these earrings make me feel like a kindergarten teacher, they make me feel like Miss Frizzle, they make me feel so so happy and I love them so much. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to listen to me talk about my earrings and my glowy base makeup. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in me trying about face beauty for the first time and trying their new Saturation Nation collection. You guys, when this freaking PR package showed up to my door this morning, I was flabbergasted. I've never received such a nice PR package before. Never received anything from About Face before. It's really given me some perspective right now. Like, if you had told me two years ago when I was still making YouTube videos that only like seven people watched that I would one day be getting a PR package like this from a big brand like About Face, I would lose my mind. And I'm still losing my mind. That's the thing. I'm like, I'm gonna cry. It's, it's really cool to get opportunities like this. Don't cry on your YouTube channel. It's very exciting. There's nothing to cry about. But yeah, I'm just so excited to play with all of this stuff. Look at all these beautiful, colorful eye paints. There's also an eyeshadow primer in here that I'm excited to try out. Tons of lip pencils and beautiful matte lip paints. And you know what? I'm just, I'm too freaking excited. We gotta put some of these on my face right now. So, if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to do some fun, bold, creative, graphic liner looks with me using the About Face Saturation Nation collection, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. Ugh, I literally can't believe I cried in the intro. I don't think I've ever cried in the intro of a YouTube video before, but you know what? It's just, I'm having a very exciting day. So, all right, let's zoom you in. We're gonna start with eyes. I really just have eyes and lips to go through. They also sent me this massive informational sheet so I can actually give you guys, like, prices, and it tells you how to use the products, which is amazing, and I'm so glad that I read this first because there's a little section here for the matte fluid eye paints, and it says that if you want to use them as eyeliner, that you need to gently tap them, don't sweep them, using a stamping motion on the lash line using an angled liner brush. So I'm so glad that I read that because I absolutely would have just dipped in with one of my liner brushes and swept it on. So we're not gonna be sweeping, we're gonna be tapping. Oh my gosh. Okay, so should I put the eyeshadow primer on? I know I'm gonna be using it as liner, but let's be real. I'm probably gonna do like a bold shade on the lid and then do some liner around it. So why not give the eyeshadow primer a try too? Oh, okay, here's what I'll do. I'll take my own advice from my beauty marketing video I just posted, and I'm gonna do the eyeshadow primer on one eye and none on the other eye so we can see if it makes a difference. Oh my gosh, exciting. Oh, okay, it's one of these. Oh, I love that. That's so much better than like a squeezy tube. Okay. So it's got kind of like an, I don't want to say nudie because nude is different from everyone. It's got like a light beige tone to it. Like it's not white. Okay, let me just tap it in with my finger to make sure it's all over here. It doesn't feel super sticky. It honestly just feels like it's kind of disappearing. It does seem like it provided like a tinge of coverage too. Like I don't know if you can see my eye veins are definitely showing more on this eye than this eye. So Overall, a big fan, but now let's put some eye bases over it. All right, so these are all of the matte fluid eye paints that they sent me. You can see we have some beautiful bold colors, every shade of the rainbow, but then we also do have some neutral shades in here. So for my neutral loving friends, if this formula ends up being good, there are definitely some options here for you as well. There's also a white shade, and it says on my little informational sheet that you can create your own custom colors by using the primary shades and the white shade to like make your own colors, which is so freaking cool. But okay, so which ones do I wanna start with? I wanna use as many colors as possible, of course. Okay. So so I think I want to start off with the orange shade because I got my whole orange thing going on today. And this shade is called Spectre. So I think I want to just try putting it all over my lid. Like I said, we're definitely going to do some liner business too, but I want this to be like my all over lid shade. So it says you can apply it with your fingers or your favorite tool. I've never been someone who loves applying liquid eyeshadows with like a brush or anything. So I'm just going to sweep it on here. Wow. Okay. This is beautifully pigmented. Oh my goodness. As I figured it, 
it would be. What I really like about About Face is when the brand started, Halsey said that they were very inspired by like painting because I guess that she likes to paint too. So like she wanted everything to feel like very artistic. Like literally you're just painting on your face, your face is the canvas and I absolutely freaking love that because that is how I think of my face when I'm doing makeup. Think of it like a canvas. I'm not trying to think of like how to make my eyes look more naturally lifted or look like contoured or anything like that. Like no, my face is a canvas and I want to put as many colors on it as possible. I'm not trying to look naturally beautiful. I'm trying to look as supernatural as possible. And uh, holy freaking wow, dude. This is so pigmented and beautiful. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I gotta decide where I'm where I'm taking this to I think I'm gonna take it right up to my crease I'm not gonna wing it out at the end because I think I want to do another color winged out at the end I'm doing as many colors as I can this is nice too because it's not drying down super quick I have worked with cream shadows in the past that felt like they dried down so quickly you had like no work time so I really appreciate that I have some work time with these all right moving on to another color next up I want to go in with this gorgeous cobalt blue I've been super feeling blues like this lately the shade name is called No Queen Blues. Absolutely beautiful. And so my idea with this color is I want to take it as liner but then bring it like all around the orange so kind of like encapsulate that. But per the instructions I'm going to go in with an angled liner brush and stamp it because I definitely want to follow the instructions when it comes to working with a new formula that I'm not super familiar with yet. This is just a little Shop Miss A angled liner brush by the way. So like they said on the instructions we're going to stamp. Oh it's so tempting to swipe. That's just like uh, I'm already swiping. It's so tempting to swipe. Uh, I'm sweeping. I know I'm not supposed to sweep. I'm sorry. I'm just starting to feel a little more comfortable and I feel like I can sweep. I'm just trying to smooth it out a little bit. Also, it's looking kind of black over the orange. That's interesting. Okay, I thought it would look a little more blue. It's a little darker than I thought it would be. Let's see what a little swatch looks like on my hand. Okay, it looks more cobalt blue on my hand. It could just be because I combined it over the orange. So now let's go around the orange, not over it. So maybe we can see the color a little better. I am like fully sweeping now. I'm sorry for breaking the rules. I just feel like it's it's working with this particular brush. It does lose some of the pigmentation when sweeping it though. So dang it, maybe that's what they were talking about with the stamping. This brush is kind of thin too. What if I just use the brush to add pigmentation? Yeah, there you go. Now that color is popping through. Is it a thick line? Yes, but that's what I'm going for with this look. So I don't care. Just using my angled liner brush to smooth out the lines a little bit now, going back and forth between stamping and smoothing. Okay, looking very bold right now, but that's what I'm going for. So now I say we move on to another color. Loving these colors so far. You know, definitely a learning curve with these products with going in with the brush. I don't typically love working with angled liner brushes unless it's a powder eyeshadow. I definitely prefer just going in with the applicator. So let's do more of the applicator. Now I'm going to go in with this gorgeous yellow shade called It's Bliss. And my idea is to kind of just like keep taking layers out with this to make it a wing. I don't know. Trust the process with this one, you guys. It's definitely going to be a process here. Yeah, so I just want to do a little loop of that color around here. I love how fully pigmented it is when you go in with the applicator. It's just so nice. The other thing you want to be careful of is if you go over the other shade at all, they will mix together despite it being dried down. So I don't totally mind that, but just something to be aware of. I think it looks kind of cool. It's giving me like a little bit of green in between. Okay, now I'm kind of like finishing the wing out here. You guys, are you still trusting the process? Is everyone still trusting the process? I too am still trusting the process. I know it looks a little whack right now. I'm just feeling very painty. I'm feeling very much like a painter using these. And I kind of just wanna wanna just see how it goes. I'm gonna add some stuff up here too. It's it's gonna be a look. I'm excited. Okay, now I wanna take this beautiful blue shade, this like lighter blue shade, and go over the cobalt with it to pop some stuff up top here. <laughs> Woo, that's a beautiful shade. Oh my gosh, I love that. I am feeling like an abstract painting right now. I think for my brow bone, we should go in with the white. All right, let's add a little bit of white on the inner corners too, because I just, I really like this white. It's super, super bold. Yeah. 
guys. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love it. I'm feeling more and more like a painting by the second. All right, now let's take the purple on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go bold with this purple on the lower lash line. So if you need to mentally prepare yourself, please take the time to do that. It's all about balance. If I'm gonna go this bold on the lid, then I need to go bold on the lash line. This could be a really pretty colorful mascara too. I accidentally got some purple on my lashes and I'm not mad about it at all. Okay, now I do kind of feel like I wanna put some purple on the lid. We are in abstract painting. We are just adding little colors wherever we feel like it, making it as abstract as possible. Is this the direction I thought this makeup look was gonna go when I put down my first color? No. It's not, but is it the direction it went? Yes, it is, undeniably. All right, I'm gonna need everybody to hold on to their bootstraps for a minute, because I got an idea that I think is gonna pull it all together. So I have this little nail art tool, tool. I got this little nail art tool that I got from Shop Miss A. Basically just has like two rounded edges on both sides. This one has like a tiny rounded edge. This one has a bigger one, and it's great for making like perfect little circle shapes. Highly recommend you check out a tool like this. It's called a nail dotting tool, I believe. And I'm just gonna hit us with the dot down there because I don't know, just feels right. Ooh, maybe I'll do a couple dots. Why not do a few? Now maybe I'll throw some dots on top too to balance it out. I know I'm doing too much. I can't stop, I'm sorry. Do some smaller dots too, why not? All right, who else is ready to just fully commit and go in with white eyelashes? Because that's where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna take this matte fluid eye paint and put it on my lashes. Nowhere on this PR package does it say that you can do this or that this is safe. So proceed with caution, as always, with all of my tutorials, proceed with caution. But I, hell yeah, dude, that looks cool. A good decision. I curled my eyelashes, by the way. That's why they're sticking up like this. Okay, so pulled you out a little bit here, so it's a little less overwhelming. I know it's a lot. I know this is not a wearable makeup look, but honestly, I just really got the vibe from this whole collection and through these eye paints that they're meant to just be used for fun and just for painting on your face, you know? So this is, like I said, not the most wearable eye look, but I did test out almost every single color for you so you can see the full pigmentation of the colors. I think they're absolutely beautiful. My biggest takeaway is that they do mix together, so just be cautious when going over them. Like my lash line color definitely looks a little more black than it does blue over the orange where you can see it's a lot more cobalty blue when I went around the orange. I also think I'm already liking the primer side better. I feel like the color showed up more pigmented on the primer side. Like I feel like this cobalt blue is more cobalt blue than the cobalt blue on the the other side so liking the primer a lot so far and really liking the product so far definitely like I've mentioned before is a learning curve they're a little thick you know they're not the consistency of water activated liners or of liquid eyeliners so if you try to go in and use them like that they're not gonna perform that way, you know? I know they said to do stamping and I did a little bit of swiping anyways. I do realize what they're saying with the stamping because when you swipe, you do lose some pigmentation. Like it does create some like patches that aren't super opaque, but I did find that you can go over them after they're dry and kind of layer them up. And the other thing that's really baffling to me is you would think with all this paint on my face that I would feel like stiff and crunchy. I don't at all. I mean, it definitely feels like I'm wearing eyeshadow. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing makeup because it does, but it's not crunchy, which is amazing. Like even I feel like I can still move my eyes pretty well, which is awesome because sometimes with liquid eyeshadows, they leave your eyes feeling so dry and uncomfortable. And with the amount of layering that I did with these, I'm baffled that it doesn't feel dry at all. Also, it is totally dried down, transfer proof. So I can sit here and go like this all day and not get any on my fingers. I don't know why I would, but I could if I wanted to. And I also really like how it went on my eyelashes. It's nice because it's kind of thick. I've mentioned before that you can put water activated liners as mascara on your eyelashes, but the difficulty with that is that it's such a thin consistency that you sometimes almost can't see it. But with this like thicker paint, you can really see it on my eyelashes. So I love it for that. But yeah, okay, so that's it for the eye look. We still have some lip products to try though. Can you even believe it? Okay, so I've got lip liners and matte lip paints. So I think I wanna do a little bit of an ombre business. I'm gonna keep the lips a little more neutral because 
we're not neutral at all up here. But I do still want to use the orange lip liner. And then I'm going to take one of the peachier matte lip paints to create like a custom nude for myself. I'm not always a lip liner girl, but I want to be. I want to be a lip liner girl. Ooh, okay. It's like a nice creamy pencil. Looks like you could sharpen it, which I love. Let me zoom you in a little bit more. And let's see how these do. My, honestly, my lip gloss is completely wiped off by now. So I'm going to keep it on as a, a little bit of a hydrating base. Ooh, okay, it's super, super creamy. I love that consistency. The shade, by the way, is called Love Like a Sunset. Oh, how cute. Okay, this lip liner is remarkably easy to use. If you've ever seen me try to line my lips on camera before, you know, I'm I'm not great at it. I, I know I can recognize the areas that I'm good at makeup and where I struggle in lip liner is probably my biggest struggle area. And this is just going on so glidey and creamy and smooth. I am taking it a little bit onto the lips too because I want it to be like an ombre moment. So that's why I didn't just stick to the, the total outline here. Really pretty color, nice orange. Not as like vibrant as like this orange, but a nice lip color orange. Okay, this shade is called Sad Song. Let's go in with Sad song. Also a matte lip paint. I'm like, I don't usually like matte liquid lipsticks. Oh, what a nice applicator though. Ooh, smells minty. Okay, not expecting it to smell minty, but I'm, I'm thrilled about it. I love minty smells. Wow, that is a gorgeous consistency. Oh, so like moussey. Okay, let me try not to over apply because like I said, I'm going for like an ombre lip thing. So I'm going to stop here and then go in and try to blend it with my finger. I still got to get a good lip brush. I keep saying I need to get a lip brush. Okay, now let me do the, the thing that the cool lip liner girls do, which is you go back in with your lip liner afterwards for more blending. All right, what do you guys think? I kind of love this lip combo. It's like orange, but a more wearable orange. I gotta stop using the word wearable because like anything is wearable if you're committed like I am. So like a bold orange is wearable too, but it's like more of a neutral orange, like mixing the orange lip liner with the nude. I might be onto something here as if I invented this lip combo. Obviously I didn't, it's in a lip combo set, but like I really like this. And this formula is comfortable. I mean, you know, I was a little scared. It said matte lip paint. I'm like matte liquid lipsticks, not really my jam. I've decluttered all of them for my collection for the most part, but this is comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's fully dried down, but it doesn't feel drying at all. Like I can move my mouth around a lot and it's not feeling uncomfortable. Is it transfer proof? No, it's not totally transfer proof, but honestly, I don't really care. Also, I really mix together the lip liner and the lip paint a lot. So maybe it's because the lip liner is mixed in. I don't care about a transfer proof lip. If I'm kissing y'all the cheek, then you're going to get some orange on your cheek and you're going to wear it with pride because that's just cool. Also, I'm not going to kiss you on the cheek. I don't kiss anybody on the cheek. I am loving this entire collection. Again, I know this eye look is like maybe not one that you're going to be like rushing to go recreate, but I hope it gave you a good idea for what all of the colors look like and the formula. Like I said, I'm blown away that my eyes don't feel like super crispy, crunchy right now. And the eyes are totally transfer proof. They are totally dried down. I feel very powerful. I feel like a painting come to life and I love that. So let me know what you guys think about all of these products. Have you tried anything from About Face before? Let me know if you have or if you have any recommendations for me. And I thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I live stream those Saturdays. So I would love to have you join me here on my channel. Check out my description box for all of the product details of the products that I tried from About Face today. Also my description box, I'll have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, resources to support the LGBTQ plus community, and resources to support Ukraine. So I'd really appreciate it if you checked out those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.